Okay, the tibiofibular joint or tib-fib joint for short. This joint is very unique uh, for two reasons. One, I wanna briefly touch on the fact that the talus is kind of wedged up in there. Um, that's unique, we'll talk about that in a second. So you can see how the talus kind of wedged up in there. The other element, which is the big part of this, is the fact that there is no muscle that directly connects this joint together at any point. The muscle that actually goes by the joint will tie down into the foot at different parts. And you can see, see where it ties in. Okay, so here comes the muscle. See where some of the muscles are. Notice that there is nothing that's actually connecting the tib-fib together, tibia and fibula. Okay. Rotate through, you can still see there's nothing there connecting it. So why is this important? Well, this is important and relevant because if we roll our ankle or <clears throat> there's any type of like mild injury to these ligaments, what will happen is without the muscular support there, these ligaments will struggle to heal because, because there's so much laxity here and there's no muscle to support it, the joint receptors in the ankle are going to fall through. So what happens is when we step, we take a step, we jump, we land, whatever, what happens is the receptors in our foot and our ankle, they are going to send information to the brain telling it that force is coming in. So the brain interprets that and then it sends information back down telling what muscle or muscles it needs to turn on at that time to absorb that force. When the ligaments here are stretched, these joint receptors get confused and they cannot complete that process. I did a podcast on this about a year ago talking about how your brain sometimes doesn't know where your foot or ankle is in space and this is why. This is very important when it comes to any type of recovery or also any type of performance because if the receptors can't do their job, then the brain can't tell the muscles what to do. And so that will subsequently lead to either muscles not absorbing force properly or our body perceiving a threat and actually further inhibiting things. So if you're struggling to recover from something or if you're struggling to bust through some type of plateau, this is probably an area you might want to check into the tib-fib joint. So hopefully this uh, provides you with a little information on how this joint operates and how we address it at ELP.